<laughs> Kathy, my dog has no nose. Really? How does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> this lesson's about verbs related to the five senses. You'll learn how sense verbs can have different meanings, and you'll learn some important grammar too. Let's start with a conversation. How many sense verbs can you spot? Do you want coffee? Oh, yes, please. Jay? Hmm. What's wrong with you today, Jay? Nothing. You look tired. I feel fine. You sound angry. Well, I'm not. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you, Kathy. It smells great. It tastes great, too. Where's mine? You said you didn't want any. Huh. Did you spot the sense verbs? Let's check. You look tired. I feel fine. You sound angry. Well, I'm not. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you, Kathy. It smells great. It tastes great, too. Where's mine? Notice the words that follow the sense verbs here. They're all adjectives. Now, in some languages, you could also use an adverb. So, for example, you might say, you sound angrily, or the coffee tastes well. But not in English. These sentences are wrong. After sense verbs, we use adjectives. We can also use the preposition like after sense verbs. And I'm going to make another video about that. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Now, there are a couple more sense verbs that are very common. See and hear. Oh my. What's the matter with you today? I'm worried about my iPhone. Your new iPhone? I've lost it. Well, let me call it. Oh. Can you hear it? Yes, but I can't see it. It's in your pocket. Oh. <laughs> Notice how we used can with these verbs. That's very common because they're general ability verbs. Hearing and seeing are abilities that people have and we don't have to make an effort to do them. They just happen naturally, if our eyes are open and our ears aren't blocked, of course. So we use can a lot with see and hear. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Now I can. Now there's another interesting thing about sense verbs. They all have two or more meanings. And that's why this old joke works. Kathy, my dog has no nose. Really? How does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> the joke plays on two different meanings of smell. One meaning is to sense an odour, and the other meaning is to give off an odour. Now here's some grammar you're going to find very useful as your English gets better. I love this new shampoo, Jay. Do you? I don't. It smells like flowers. Exactly. The verb smell is a stative verb in this sentence because it describes a state, something that just is. But here, the verb smell describes an action and we call it a dynamic verb. Stative, dynamic. So why is this useful, Vicky? Well, we don't usually use stative verbs in the progressive or continuous form. Even when we're talking about a temporary situation or state, we use the simple form. Understanding stative verbs will help you use simple and progressive forms correctly. 
Let's look at another example. Does my hair look okay, Jay? Yeah, it looks fine. You're not looking. Uh oh. So we've got two different meanings of look. Here it means appear or seem. It looks fine means its appearance is fine. But here, look means using your eyes, turning them in a particular direction. And notice the verb forms. With a dynamic verb, we can use the progressive. But with the stative verb, we usually don't. Taste is similar. We can taste food, so Jay is tasting some soup here. But we can also say something tastes delicious, salty, sweet, and so on. So let's check you've understood. Ooh, this milk smells funny. When did we buy it? Is smell a stative or a dynamic verb here? It's a stative verb. It's describing the state of the milk. And what about in this sentence? It's a dynamic verb, an action. Great. So let's review. Sense verbs have two or more meanings. When they're describing an action, something dynamic, we can use the simple or progressive. But when they're describing a state, we usually use the simple form. Oh, and don't forget, Sense verbs are followed by adjectives, not adverbs. Oh, hi, Jason. I'm your surgeon. My surgeon? Yes, and this is your kidney. My kidney? Yes, thanks for donating it. It looks very healthy.